is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back. What a card we had in Ontario, California. Uh, the whole card was dope. Um, we're going to get into the main um, Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing, all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Also, please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, at Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube, Texas Boxing Scene. Um, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery, so it's very near and dear to our heart. All right. Um, but before, all right, let's get into it. So, uh, Brandon Figueroa. Um, I had 115, 111 on my card. Um, I thought Figueroa won the fight. I, I thought he won the last three rounds. I had him winning, what was it, five of the last six or so, something like that. I, I had him winning the fight in the second half. I had him behind. Um, yeah, I, I never, I scored the first two for Mixayo. I scored the third for Figueroa. I scored the fourth for Mixayo. Um, and then from that point on, I, uh, I pretty much had, um, I'll go right now. First round, first two rounds, Mixayo. Third round, Figueroa. Fourth round, Mixayo. Fifth, sixth, and seventh. Um, Figueroa. Eighth was the was was an even round. I gave it to Mixayo, 10-9, but he lost a point, so it's a 9-9 round. Tenth round, I gave the Mix. A ninth round, I gave to Mixayo. So eighth, 9-9. Nine, nine. Ninth round, 10-9, Mixayo. And then I gave the last three rounds to Brandon Figueroa. It's 115. And then there's a two-point round. In the eleventh for the other two point deduction, uh, so I had 115, 111, seven rounds to five with with uh, two point deductions. Also, if you guys want to complain about the cards, also it could have been wider because Mixayo was taking a knee. If you take a knee, that's a knockdown, and you might want to stop the fight because he doesn't want to fight at that point. So, um, it could have been wider because you could have had ten eight rounds with the knockdowns because there could have been ruled knockdowns when he's taking those knees. Um. I, I, I think the judges got it right. My own really only rounds from Mixayo. I, mean, I, I had him up. I, I gave him three of the first four rounds. Right? I mean, how did y'all have it? I mean, did I, 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 a couple rounds in, I, I thought Figueroa was in trouble. I said, okay, can he wear him down? Can he break it up? Mixayo really wasn't slowing down, and then Figueroa got it going the last two rounds. He got the two point deductions, but the judges didn't even have it close, surprising to me because I, I I saw this as a very close fight. I had it 115 111 for Figueroa, but I, I could see this going any which way. I mean, these rounds were close, you know, and they all agreed that Figueroa won all, all the rounds, every close round. All the judges agreed was a Figueroa round, so that was interesting. Um, I actually thought this fight was closer than the Stephen Fulton fight. I honestly did. I thought Figueroa beat Fulton wide. I thought he won that fight wide. I mean, the judges disagreed, obviously. Um, but uh, I, so a couple things about Figueroa's performance. So Figueroa is going to fight Ray Vargas next. Again, I, I'm going to take Figueroa to win to win that fight. Um, you know, Vargas is coming up the shack. He, he's finding out what happens when you mess with Texas. Um, it doesn't go well for you, um, and it's not going to go well. Um, I, I think you know Figueroa beats him up, where, whereas um, Sh- Shaq up and beat him around. I, I think Brandon Figueroa is just gonna beat him down. I think this is a tailor made fight. It was a fun fight, it's an interesting, interesting fight, but I think Vargas gets stopped late in that fight by by uh, Brandon Figueroa. I think Brandon will be a two time, uh, a two well, two weight eight division world champion for this fight. Yeah, you know, I, I don't think this is Brandon's best performance. Um, he got it going and it did enough to get the win. Uh, but his volume was down, and I always thought 26 would be a better weight class for him. His volume was down. Um, that was concerning to me. Um, he, he didn't see his jab. This is two fights in a row. We really didn't see his jab. He wasn't firing the jab. He usually fires his jab to get his way. 
there was one round, I think it was the 10th, um, where he didn't land a single jab in the round. Um, that, that's not Brandon. Uh, you know, Brandon, you know, moves his head, he gets in, he fires a jab, uh, and, and he's just, you know, he, he's just rushing in now. Um, and it worked today, and it, it will work, but at a certain point, that's not going to work at, at the next level. You know, this, he has to get back to doing what he did. I, I think, you know, his and Omar Jr. and Tarita. Uh, but, you know, at this level, I think Joel Diaz is where he should be. I think he's a better fighter with Joel Diaz. I think Joel Diaz knows him. Um, I think he knows his strength. I think he knows how to get the most of him. And he just seems to be a little bit better with, with Diaz in his corner. Um, you know, I know Sean kind of San Antonio. I know Ronnie helped, helped train him. Um, and, and look, uh, he, he beat a really good fighter. He beat a former world champ. So, all, all respect to at this level, I think he's a little bit better fighter with um, Joel Diaz in his corner. I think that's something he looks looks to go back to. Um, you know, it's only four pounds. You know, um, he he obviously was in good condition. He you know he was able he 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 didn't get tired and Mixayo did. Um, so it's it not a matter of conditioning or, or anything like that. He was in spectacular shape and, you know, he did what he had to do. Um, but from a technical standpoint, I think there's a lot to be desired. I think he's had a lot better performances and I think he can beat Ray Vargas. Ray Vargas. Uh, but I, you know, I, I think, um, he's going to have to sharpen some things up. He's going to have to work a little more, you know, he, He's going to have to use that jab. Uh, and look, McSyle did a good job of executing his game plan, which was holding. It, eventually, it came back to Biden because he got two points deducted, but he wanted to, you know, smother him, and he, and he did that. He did a good job. So McSyle executed his game plan well. It just wasn't enough, um, and especially with the two-point deductions. He couldn't hold on late, and you saw him fade because he couldn't hold on late. They keep talking. They keep talking. They keep talking. And figure out he doesn't use his reach. You guys are stupid. Look, he's five foot nine. It was six foot wingspan, right? Seventy two inch wingspan. He's really long for the weight class. Yes, he does not really keep you at the end of the jab like Lennox Lewis. Okay, that's not what he does. What he does is he's functional, right? You can't get him off of you, right? He's working. He's working. You, you you try to get away. He's one step. He's back in your chest, pounding away again. Head in your chest, pounding away. He's functionally long. You can't get away from him. Right? So yes, he's his jab like you want him to, but he's using his length in a different way to keep you in front of him, right? It's like a basketball player, like well, really, where John Ronda, right? Six foot with a six foot nine wingspan, right? You can't get away from him. And that's the thing that Brandon does constantly pressuring you, and you can't get him off of you. So you gotta bang with them, right? And 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 they said it too it, on the telecast is at a certain point this is gonna be a slide fest. Yes, yes, it is, because you can't get him off of you. You cannot get him off of you. So you're going to have to fight his fight. And this is why, if you think, you know, and this is why I, I think Shakur Stevenson fight is so interesting. I know that's, you know, he's all at the 35 now. But I want, or Shaki Foster, if you go to 130, right? Um, I've always wanted to see. Um, Shakur was all down at 126, and, and, and Brandon was at 122. I said, okay, if, you know, and, and it didn't work out. Now, but you can't run from him. You're going to have to stand in, right? So can he, can, can Shakur Stevenson do what Fulton did? And Fulton is fight with him. Wouldn't have battle on the outside, but you got to fight with him on the inside. You just can't let him do his thing when the fight on the outside because you're not. Because he's going to get you into his fight because he's too strong long and, he's, and his work rate is too great. Like he, he's going to get you, right? And when he does, how do you respond? He, you're going to fight his fight. And that's what makes him such a challenging guy. Um, but, you know, there are things that he can fix. Um, and, you know, he's going to fight Ray Vargas next. You know, he wants Stephen Fulton next. I, I think it's going to be Vargas and then maybe Fulton because in a way, and I think Fulton's going to win that fight. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. What do you think of Brandon Figgis or Brandon Figure Rose performance. What y'all think of the card? Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow three boxing, all forms of social media. Also, Texas Boxing Channel. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. That's Texas Boxing Scene. Um, all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. It is March 4th, 2023. From Texas to the world.
Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.